What's up guys? We are back with some Oblivion. I got a handful of mods to showcase for you and I'm going to go through these pretty quickly because I have so many distractions that just keep trying to disturb me whenever I try to make these type of showcases and whenever I'm trying to add or make mods. So I'm not going to get fancy. We're just going to show off, you know, the mod, where it is, how to get started with it, how to use it. So let's just jump into the first mod. So the first one is Akito's Imperial Closed Helmet. And this will replace the Imperial Guard helmets, giving them a new model. This will also replace the Imperial Dragon Armor, which is actually good because I thought the original helmet just ruined the whole armor. So I remember like when I finally got that armor, uh, I put it on and I was just disappointed with it. And I immediately just went to my house in Anvil and dropped it off in there. So uh, uh, with this mod installed, you know, this helmet with the Imperial Dragon armor is actually my current favorite armor, so I definitely really approve of this mod. Next is Mr. Sika's Farm Animals, and this is meant to be a modder's resource, but the author was actually nice enough to provide us with an ESP so that the creatures will actually be placed in the world. So, you know, you can find these farm animals on farms and like homesteads and things like that. So there's cows, goats, chickens, rabbits, and maybe there's, you know, a bit more. There's quite a variety going on here. And there's also different variants of these creatures that, you know, will give them like different colors. So you won't always see the same color chicken and cow and things like that. So it's really good for diversity. Uh, I didn't check to see if you could actually kill these creatures or if they had, you know, lootable items on death, but it's stable for me so far. Next is capes and cloaks, and you can buy them at the Divine Elegance in the Imperial City. So the cloak is basically a cape with a hood, and the cape is basically, you know, without the hood. So uh, they came in many different colors. Uh, they don't provide much armor, but they are very stylish. So there's also a large cloak version that you can get. In which it kind of pulls the cape out of it. So if your character has like a bigger butt, you could remove or reduce the clipping with this version. Or, you know, sometimes it just looks a little bit bigger anyway. So if you just kind of want a bigger cloak, then, you know, you might want to go with that variant. So I really like this mod. It's really good. Next is Camping by Mascar. And you will have a spell added to your inventory for camping as soon as you start, you know, the game with this mod or load up a save that you have currently in a playthrough but you won't be able to use this spell until you actually purchase a tent so you have to get one of them from the three brothers in the imperial city so there's three types of tents there's a small medium and large and you can also get an imperial themed variant which is purely, purely aesthetic so it functions the same but it's just like red so once you have the spell equipped and a tent in your inventory, you can summon the tent. If you have multiple tents in your inventory, you will get a menu asking you which tent that you want to deploy. So activating the spell again when your tent is already deployed will simply just pack it up. The large tent has a loading cell with a storage container in it that will be safe even after packing it up. So basically it's like having portable storage. So I really like this mod. It's one of the better downloads that I have gotten recently and I'm going to endorse this one for sure. I love this one. It's a definite keeper. <laughs> Next is Manly Stride, which is a male walking animation. This is going to give your male character more of a swagger in his walk. And it doesn't work when you walk backwards if you're using one of those 360 motion mods. But you can get a good look at it if you're holding, if you're clicking in the middle mouse wheel and rotating the camera. So, um, this animation reminds me of that one Spider-Man game that people made memes of where, like, Peter is just walking by while there's crime and stuff going on in the back. So, um, I will say that it is a nice animation, but unfortunately, I can't keep it because it loops poorly. Next is the Imperial Dragon Armor Reforged. This is a remodel of the Imperial Dragon Armor. It looks nice, but I don't know why this mod requires a plugin. 
that's a bit disappointing as I would love to be able to talk with this mod on and off in the middle of a playthrough. But either way, it's a nice model. You know, it's something that I would definitely hold on to. Uh, you know, it just looks really nice. And um, that's pretty much going to do it for me on this video. Uh, I think I want to start making some more individual showcases of mods in the future. I want to start making, you know, more detailed showcases and walkthroughs with them. So let me know what you think about that. Uh, I would like to, you know, try some mods out and really just show off how to use them, how to get started, you know, where they're located and any problems and conflicts that, you know, you might have with them. So all the links for these mods will be in the description below. I want to thank you all for watching. If you're still here, leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel to support me. If you want to support me further, consider pledging on Patreon or with YouTube membership. So that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching and I will see you later.